Welcome to USDA in a joyous occasion. It's also an historic occasion. And a very eloquent speaker is about to tell you lots of reasons why Sochil Torres Small is going to be a great Deputy Secretary of Agriculture. But I just want to point out one, and I use the word joyous occasion for a reason. She's going to bring joy to this position. We have lots of folks here who are dedicated, have great vision, committed to justice, committed to the mission. What we maybe could use here, I think we could all use in public life, is more joy. And she's already brought that to this department. Now she's going to bring it to the entire department, to the entire agricultural community. And we're so happy to have her here. So it's now my great honor to introduce Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack. Thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, welcome to everybody. Uh, it is indeed an important and joyous occasion, as Administrator Shea has indicated. Let me just take this opportunity to personally and publicly thank him again. Um, uh, you know, when they, if they were to have a definition, as they say, uh, of public servant, uh, they would be describing Kevin Shea. He is an incredibly dedicated uh, person to this department and has stepped up on repeated occasions uh, and did a tremendous, uh, phenomenal job uh, as acting deputy. So, Kevin, thank you very, very much. Uh, and I want to thank and welcome everybody, but I'm particularly interested in welcoming uh, Socia's family uh, because none of this happens, frankly, uh, unless the family uh, does the job of raising her right. Uh, and I'd like the family, uh, if they wouldn't mind, just standing up for just a second so we could acknowledge them and thank them. <laughs> Nathan, apparently, you, you don't think you're family? <laughs> Hey, listen, man, this doesn't happen at all without a spouse who understands and is willing to sacrifice. And uh, so in addition, so you folks know what kind of guy this guy is, in addition to making the sacrifice of time away from uh, the woman that he loves, he also is a state representative in the great state of New Mexico, where they, where, where they think so highly of the job that they don't pay these guys anything. <laughs> there's no salary associated with being a state rep. Uh, there's a per diem, but not a salary. Uh, so this is a guy who doubly sacrifices for, uh, for the good of all. Uh, and here we are to celebrate um, a, a remarkable woman, I, but I'll tell you, I'm a bit jealous, uh, Deputy. When I was sworn in, <laughs> I barely got my family there. Um, this is a remarkable uh, showing, and I think it's a reflection of the character and quality of the person who's going to be uh, our, our next deputy. I mean, think about a person who decides that it's better to go to a foreign country for a little more education than be at your high school graduation. I mean, who does that? I mean, seriously. South Africa instead of the high school graduation. This is what this woman did. Uh, so, so curious, so interested in the world uh, that she literally was, uh, she really graduated in absentia from high school. Uh, went on a distinguished career at Georgetown, got her uh, Bachelor of Science in Foreign Service, then went and got her law degree at the University of New Mexico, and then began her lifetime of service 
in a multitude of positions. Uh, she served as a field representative for Senator Udall. Uh, she clerked for a federal judge. Uh, she obviously uh, was uh, the kind of person that people in New Mexico felt was the kind of person that you would want representing you in Congress, and so she was elected to Congress. And that may explain why so many of her colleagues uh, who served with her uh, in Congress are here today, uh, which I think is another incredible testimony uh, to the kind of person so she is. Um, and then she had the opportunity uh, to serve as undersecretary uh, for rural development. Now, I will tell you that I, I, when you get the, the job that I now have, um, and people know that you're going to be the secretary. They have a lot of, exp uh, you know, a lot of advice to give you about who you ought to have serve in various capacities. I was in. This is not an exaggeration. I was inundated by calls for such. Steny Hoyer called me twice. <laughs> he apparently didn't. Apparently didn't think it got through the first time. Um, extraordinarily high praise. Uh, and she, uh, with all due respect, she met and exceeded every expectation. From her work at Rural Development, from her traveling all across the country, from her bringing a sort of enthusiastic message of opportunity, here's what I've learned, and I suspect here's what all of those who are here in her honor have learned. She is indeed extraordinarily cu curious. Uh, she is anxious to know, to learn. I think being uh, the daughter of educators is probably a, a reason for that. She's willingness uh, to get her hands dirty in the nitty gritty of governing. Uh, this isn't just about the fun stuff of going off to ribbon cuttings and places where you're celebrating a grant here or there and uh, there are people that are happy and excited to be with you. This is about sitting in on meetings and talking about how do you make the bureaucracy work better? How do you figure out ways in which you can get help to people more quickly? Um, she's so good at that that when her nomination uh, went through the process, she not only had Democrats advocating for her, she also had high-ranking Republicans. Senator Bozeman was literally working on the floor the day of her nomination, a vote in the Senate, to secure adequate votes to make sure she got through the process. That's really high praise. Uh, she's incredibly enthusiastic, uh, as Kevin suggested, bringing a sense of joy uh, to the mission. She's driven by that mission. She understands the significance and importance of it to so many millions of people. She's a person of faith, uh, which drives her. Uh, and she understands and appreciates uh, the important role uh, of government in the lives of folks. I think she's the embodiment of what I like to refer to as the secret sauce of America. Uh, just so you have a sense of this, how great a country this is, You've got me, and I started out life in an orphanage. And as an orphan, I'm now the Secretary of Agriculture. You've got the granddaughter of a farm worker, now ready to be sworn in as deputy. How great is this country? So, without uh, further ado, I think it's time for us uh, to, to do this swearing in. I've been told that the ex closest to the podium is mine. So you all have to figure out. So let's get her sworn in. You ready? So you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name to solemnly swear. I, Sochil Torres Small, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the United States against all enemies against all enemies foreign and domestic foreign and domestic that I will bear true faith that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and allegiance to the same that I take this obligation freely that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion or purpose of evasion and that I will well and that I will well and faithfully and faithfully discharge the duties discharge the duties of the office of the office upon which I'm about to enter upon which I'm about to enter so help me god so help me god deputy welcome
Well, this is just a bit overwhelming. <laughs> I am so deeply grateful to have all of you here and to get to be here with you, sir, and with my family, to get to take on this next job. I'm deeply grateful for each of your support. I'm deeply, deeply grateful for the support of Secretary Vilsack, President Biden, the United States Senate, and my friends in Congress. I'm also incredibly honored to get to follow in the footsteps of Acting Deputy Secretary Kevin Shea and former Deputy Secretary Jewel Brenna. And what about those people on the stage, right? <laughs> You know, I think especially before COVID, work was a fascinating space where maybe you only really got to know a part of a person. You never really always get to know the whole of a person. And by that, I mean you don't get to see the people on whose shoulders each and every one of us stand and the family that surround us day by day. Nathan, grounds and inspires me every single day with his love of service and of our home. And you got to see my parents, my brother, my in-laws, my nieces and nephews. And then, hopefully, if you'll get the chance to try some bizcochos from my family back home, from my Auntie Stella, my cousin Eolani, and everyone whose hands helped made that possible. My family story is a story of USDA. My grandparents immigrated from Mexico picking cotton, and also my grandparents on the other side. My grandfather was a minister, my grandmother was a school teacher too. I taught kids who relied on the services of USDA. My grandmother later helped lead a food bank and dealt with the donations from USDA. And although my connection to USDA feels very specific, very personal, it's really just one small example of the impact USDA leaves on each of our lives, in each of our stories. So before you are here, to, but those of you who are here today who work here at USDA, you know this already. You know the importance of USDA to every single person's life and story. That's why you work day after day and year after year, in many cases, decade after decade, to serve the many missions of USDA. And that dedication to mission has taught me so much. As some of you know, I'm coming to the department from rural development. Those of you who are here from RD today, thank you. You have taught me so much about what it means to serve our country. Whenever I think of service at USDA, I'll think of the man who went door to door in Alabama, trying to convince people to sign up for water service, trying to earn back a trust that had long been lost from the government. And we have people like that all across the department. I'll think about the Forest Service employees who were at Snow Lake so that Nathan and I could be there for Memorial Day and so many others could be there spending time with family while they were taking time serving to make it possible. I'll think about two employees recently from the NFC 
who worked at lightning speed to reinstate health insurance to someone they didn't know but had been lost in the system. Knowing this department, I know that each of you can think of a time when you've had to answer the call to service in an extraordinary way. Because here at USDA, we know the importance of our many missions, and we touch people's lives every single day. And by touching people's lives every single day, we get to become part of their story. That's why my mission is to serve the people of USDA every single day, to support the, your unparalleled dedication and to make sure you have the tools to tackle the challenges, even when sometimes that means having to do more with less. It's crucial work so that you can keep turning your ideas into food on the table and your investments into reality in rural America. It's a tall order, and we can only achieve it by empowering the solutions of the people of USDA and the people on the ground. That way we can make sure we are, as the Secretary says so well, a department not just for the few, but for the many. We can prove that there are more options than just getting big or getting out, but rather we can be there so that the next generation of farmers, foresters, researchers, rural people, and every single partner of USDA can get innovative instead. That's why I'm so excited to get to do this job. That's what will get me up each morning and hopefully doesn't keep us up too late at night because our missions are critical. The work we do in operations now will have an impact on the people we serve and their stories for generations to come. So thank you again. I'm thrilled to get to work on behalf of the people of the People's Department. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for the opportunity to be here with all of you today on this historic and beautiful day to, to honor Madam Sochin Torres Small's confirmation as the new Deputy Secretary of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. <laughs> the role of Deputy Secretary is not only critical to improving and managing the department's workforce, but also improving the customer service for everyone, for everyone involved in the agricultural sector. Sochil is the granddaughter of farm workers, a former congresswoman, and a person and colleague who truly cares about ensuring that all stakeholders and employees feel heard, supported, and respected. So she not only represents her Latinx community and the farm worker community, but she represents you and all of us. As she exemplifies what the Biden-Harris administration stands for. Her confirmation is an important step towards ensuring that we have an administration and a department that reflects the diversity of America and brings greater attention to the needs and voices of all Americans. As a first generation Latina, a former farm worker, and the daughter of a poultry farm worker who grew up in a small rural town in North Carolina, I was often made to feel ashamed of my background. And I can honestly say that I have never felt more represented. And I have so much hope for the USDA and the future of agriculture as we work to ensure a fair and more equitable agriculture sector for everyone involved. So once again, congratulations. Y felicidades, Xochitl. Your USDA family and your Latinx community are so proud of you. Si se puede.
So now I'd like to introduce a, a video put together by the Rural Development Team in honor of SOCH's confirmation. Thank you. Congratulations from Alaska. We are just so thrilled and so proud to call you Deputy Secretary. Thank you for all the work you do for America. Hello, Soch. On behalf of Rural Development here in Colorado, we want to wish you a big congratulations. You are a rock star from the Southwest, and we look forward to working with you more. Enjoy your new role. Felicidades. Hey, Soch. On behalf of Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, Southern New England jurisdiction, wanted to send along our deepest congratulations for your being appointed as Deputy Secretary for the USDA. We certainly look forward to continuing our work with you, and thank you for all the support that you've given us thus far. Best of luck in your new role. Thank you, Soch, for your strong support for state RD offices and your Maryland visits. I always enjoy working with you, and I'm certain you'll do a great job. Aloha, Soch. As you can tell, I'm at a wind farm that's being funded by our REAP program. I want to wish you uh, much congratulations on your appointment. Uh, we'll miss you at Rural Development, but we look forward to the leadership you will provide in the Secretary's office. Aloha. Hey, Soch, congratulations from the Iowa Rural Development Team. We are so proud of you. Go be badass. Abraham Lincoln said the best way to predict the future is to create it. Your Illinois RD team is confident in the future of the USDA that you are going to help create. Congratulations, Soch. It's Christy Davis from the Sunflower State with Amelia Earhart behind me. Thanks for helping us reach new heights in rural Kansas. Congratulations, Soch. Uh, congratulations on getting through the Senate and um, achieving this nomination. It's great for USDA. You're an unusually gifted person, and I'm excited uh, to see where you'll go working for the secretary directly. Congratulations, Coach. Coach, congratulations and best wishes from vacation land here in Maine. We can't wait to welcome you in your new role as our deputy secretary for USDA and wish you all the best as you move forward to inhabit this new role. Thank you for all of your work that you've done as a rural champion and partner. Hi, Soch. On behalf of everyone here in Michigan, thank you for highlighting our work while you were undersecretary. We appreciate you coming to Michigan, and we want to wish you congratulations and best wishes for your new position. Hello, Soch. Congratulations on your well-deserved appointment. Congratulations, Soch, from the Montana team. From all of us, in New Mexico with great home state pride. We want to congratulate you on becoming our Deputy Secretary. Muchas felicidades y bendiciones. Yay! Hey Soch, or should I say Deputy Secretary. From all of the New York State team here, congratulations on your new position. We wish you the best, and you're the right person for the right job. Congratulations. Thank you for your energy and your leadership, and most importantly, your friendship. For all of us in the Sooner State, we say congratulations. Congratulations on your appointment. It's so exciting, and I can't wait to host you out here in Oregon in your new position as the Deputy Secretary of Agriculture. We could not have asked for a better leader at this time, so thank you, and I hope you're having a good day. Bye. 
Deputy Secretary Zochel Torres Small, congratulations. From the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, we want to thank you for everything you have done for us administratively and in the field of rural Pennsylvania. Our staff thank you and we wish you all the best in your new role. Soch, the entire team at RD South Dakota wants to congratulate you on your confirmation as the next Deputy Secretary of USDA. We know you will do great things and we look forward to working with you. Hi, Soch. Just wanted to wish you congratulations, and I'm so excited for you in this new role. I know you're going to just do awesome. Soch, congratulations on being appointed the next Deputy Secretary for USDA. We appreciate all that you've done for us in Virginia, and we look forward to continuing to work with you. Again, congratulations, and thanks for everything. I know that you're going to take all the relationships that you've built with you to this next job. And I'm excited about that because I think that'll give uh, rural development an opportunity to collaborate with sister agencies in a way perhaps we haven't been able to before. Um, but mostly, I'm just proud of you, and I hope that you take time for yourself, and I hope that you are able to um, manage that work-life balance that can be so ephemeral in these jobs. It has been my honor to get to work with you directly and to have you here a couple times. And don't, don't, um, don't doubt that we will be inviting you back when we have our first big mass timber or manufactured housing community solar project that we get to cut a ribbon for. Um, you've been a really great supporter of state directors, and I just want to say thank you for that. And uh, may the rest of your USDA journey be just as awesome as the first part was. All right, take care, Soch. Congratulations. Congratulations, Soch. You are always welcome back in Washington State. Madam Secretary, on behalf of the entire team in wild and wonderful West Virginia, congratulations on your confirmation. We look forward to your continued leadership and advocacy for rural communities in the Mountain State and across the entire country. Undersecretary, AKA Sochi. Uh, first of all, let me just start in Spanish by saying gran abrazo y felicidades. Just thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for how you've engaged. I've appreciated watching your style, your leadership style and learning so much from just the way you lead. And so I'm excited to see what is next for you as you move through this journey of life. And please always count on me to be here for you uh, in support of you. So thank you, and I wish you the best. Thank you. Congratulations, Soj. It has been such an honor and a pleasure to support you and your vision. And I look forward to continuing to do so in your new role. Congratulations again. So you've added so much to the rural utility service and it has been an honor for me to work with you. Now you get to do it on an even bigger scale and that is great for America. Congratulations on the confirmation. Congratulations, Sochil, on your nomination and your confirmation to the Deputy Secretary of the United States Department of Agriculture. You have been a phenomenal leader at USDA Rural Development and we are so looking forward to all that you will bring to this new role for the department. It has been wonderful to work with you, to learn from you, to come alongside and um, be a partner with you. So thank you for everything and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations, Soch. I'm so excited that you are going to be USDA's next Deputy Secretary. And as I think about the next step in your journey, I'm reminded of a question we often ask ourselves at World Development, which is, what is your superpower? 
And you've got so many, from how you effortlessly communicate and connect about World Development's mission, to how you ask all the right questions to unearth the challenge. It really is an art. But my favorite superpower of yours is that you're always a partner first. You, you help me tackle problems, you help me brainstorm solutions, and you've always been a shoulder to lean on. And I thank you for that and for the friendship that we've built throughout it all. So congratulations again. And why, while I am a little bit sad that I will be able to, to talk to you and work with you every single day, I take solace in knowing that you're not going too far. And I'm excited that the rest of the department and more of the public is going to get to see and benefit from all of your superpowers in action. So congratulations again, and I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you all again for being here with us today for this great occasion. And before you leave, please be sure to stop in the back. There is a poster with a table there where you can leave a message to wish Sochi all the best going forward. So please be here. We have some refreshments. And thank you all again. And one last time, congratulations to our great new deputy. <laughs>